Good afternoon everyone. As you can see, I am not down at the allotment today. Um, I'm actually in between two night shifts. Um, I should be asleep now, but I couldn't sleep. So I thought I'd come and have a little look at the greenhouse and see what could be tidied in there and if there's anything else that needs doing. So I do come down and water this greenhouse a lot, but as you've probably seen from my last video, I'm still getting space ready to plant everything. So it's kind of become a little overgrown and slightly jungle-like inside there. So let's go and have a look. So as we can see, uh, just outside the greenhouse, we've got loads of these potato plants coming up. Now these, I think I planted about a month or so ago um, in my homemade compost from the hot bin, um, which as you can see from there, wasn't 100% broken down, but it formed a reasonable mix. Um, so actually I planted these about on the 11th of July. So we're talking what, less than a month and a half ago. And they're all doing really well to the point where actually some of them are starting to develop flowers on but seem to be really really strong plants the other thing you might notice is as with everything in my garden we've got tomato plants coming up within there as well i think from this it's probably because of the compost that we've got in there but they seem to come up everywhere here anyway so let's go and have a look inside now, i do normally keep these this door here open but because we've had storms and high winds over the last few days, I wanted to shut it just to make sure A, we didn't lose the door, B, we didn't damage any plants, and C, that none of these polycarbonate sheets popped out. So let's have a look. And as we can see, we're presented with a bit of a jungle as we come in. So those are all the tomato plants that I potted up a little while ago into the uh, self-watering pots. And they are, in fact, touching the ceiling. Now, I haven't really been pinching out any of these, so there's probably a lot of extra growth on here that can come out. Um, so for instance, up here, we've got some suckers. So as you've got the two, you've got the main stem and the branch, you've got this little one in the middle. We can just pinch those out. I will probably try and go around this plant doing that a bit later, but you don't need to see me pinching out hundreds of uh, suckers. So we've got the hot bin in here. It's not particularly hot at the moment, but I've not put anything in here that recently. Um, and you can see we've got worm up there, so it's obviously not very hot, but there's a lot of grass in there, um, which did heat it up quite quickly as it always does, and I will need to add some more stuff into here quite soon. Now, as you can see, I need to have a water in here today. It's been a couple of days. Um, this does quite often happen in here because it does get quite hot, um, but the plants all bounce back really, really well, and it actually seems to toughen them up for when they go out. Particularly chilli plants, they like to be uh, kind of treated really roughly like this, and you'll find that they actually thrive on the poor treatment and being left to dry out and grow hotter pods and as you can see actually we have got lots of pods in here anyway in fact we've got one there which is turning color so that's off the habanero white we've got plenty of other plants in here that will need to be planted out shortly um, so here we've got lots of herbs and things. These, need, as I said, need a water. They'll bounce back nice and easily. They usually do in here. Um, we've got marrow plants. We've got, uh, I think there's some cucumbers in there. Uh, we've also up here got some um, cayenne peppers, um, some sweet peppers. These are all needing to go down to the allotment as soon as I can get them there. So as you can see, the problem with a lot of these is they start trailing we end up with flowers going down to the floor. This side again, stuff is drying out, but it's been a few days since I've watered. Um, we've got some of these Japanese beefsteak plants. I've never grown these before. Um, we'll have to wait and see what happens from them. Um, here again, we've got some squash, uh, so we've got some butternut squashes, and we've got some strawberries that are planted from seed at the back as well. Now looking in this, uh, giant mass here of the tomatoes you can see we've got a few tomatoes forming so that's a reasonable size and um, slightly further down 
as you can see there we've got some tomatoes forming and then there's plenty of others in here this all just needs to be opened up a little bit to allow some ventilation so my plan is to try and get rid of this um, planting space along here um, obviously moving those plants to other areas and getting them planted out this will mean that I can spread those four self-watering pots along a bigger distance and um, open them up to a bit more air and hopefully allowing them to uh, thrive a little bit better then the other thing I want to do is as I'm sure with most gardeners I end up with trays and pots and things here there and everywhere so I'll be having a little tidy up of all of that as well so I'm going to get on with all that tidying and I will come back to you when I've done that so hello again everyone um, it's now the next day from when I was filming yesterday so I've had another night shift um, in the middle of filming and I've now been up after an hour or two well maybe three hours sleep at home and I thought I'd carry on with doing the greenhouse um, it is horrible weather out at the moment it's on and off torrential rain so I'm not gonna be getting down the plot today um, which is a shame because I had loads of bits I wanted to actually get down and planted in the ground and um, so my chilies peppers um, and a few other bits that I wanted to get into beds that were ready um, so I'm gonna carry on in the greenhouse today but I'll quickly show you uh, what we did with the tomatoes yesterday and how everything's perked up since watering yesterday. So firstly, these are the plants that I brought outside, ready to plant down. So we've got some Japanese beef steak plants, along with some other bits and bobs. Um, sweet potatoes, which I don't expect to get much out of. I meant to plant those under cover at the allotment earlier in the season, but just never got around to it. So they're growing well, but I can't imagine we're gonna get much out of them. And the rest we've got here are all the chili plants and we do have on some of them lots of pods growing um, and on some of the others up here we've got some forming we've actually got a decent sized sweet pepper growing in there as well so there's a doing well so you may also remember I did a little experiment with the multi-purpose compost and the black magic compost. Um, we did the initial tomato one, which was a bit of a failure. And I then did one with two chilli plants. So these were both bought from the same garden centre for the same chilli pepper. And the only difference is the compost they're in. So they're both chilli paper lantern. This one here is the ordinary compost. So it's a fairly small plant, but we have got a um, big old chilli growing on there. Now the black magic one, as you can see, is a much bigger plant. There's no fully grown chilies on here yet, but we have got a few popping up around the plant. So, so far, I would say the black magic is winning on this front, but we'll have to wait and see what happens in the coming weeks. You may also remember that I did the same with two spare tomato plants. I potted them up um, into um, the kind of normal compost and the black magic. Now these two I end up putting outside and kind of forgetting them out, but they've continued growing. So this one here is the Gardener's Delight in normal compost. It's quite a long plant. It's obviously not been staked, but yeah, it's a fairly long spindly plant, unfortunately but we are getting some tomatoes on it. On the flip side, we've got the same in the Black Magic. And as you can see, again, same conditions, but this is a very bushy plant. There's no tomatoes that are spotted on it yet, but I'm thinking as with the chili plant, it might just be that the actual tomatoes come on this a bit later. So, so far, I think Black Magic is winning but you just have to be a bit careful about not putting the plants in it too early and burning them off. So let's head back inside the greenhouse and have a look at how those tomato plants are doing. So as you remember yesterday, it was a massive kind of jungle coming in here. I've just been getting rid of all the suckers, which were huge on some of these tomatoes. So they've just been left to grow. And as you can see, I've got a walkway to all the rubbish at the end, which is next on the list to tidy, but got a lot more air flow around all these tomatoes a lot better ventilation 
and we can actually see what's going on a bit better now. So the Costaluto Florentino is a decent sized plant. It does actually go all the way up to the roof. And the best closer we've got to tomatoes is a couple of little flowers at the moment. As we come in, the next one that we've got is the tomato black cherry. Again, a big tall plant, but this one we have got, try and focus, tomatoes popping up. And there's a fair few of those coming up all the way up the plant as well. Another one there. And we've got more flowers towards the top. Next one we've got is the sun gold. Again, big tall plant. We've got lots of green tomatoes on here. And we've also got some that are just about ready to pick as well. And then finally, move on to this one that I've never grown before. Uh, I think it's called a gigantomo, which is supposed to be huge tomatoes. And they are not disappointing. So again, lots of green tomatoes and becoming a decent size. There's quite a few on there as well. And as we come further up the plant, there's more. And then up further, more again. Now I'm sure if I thin these out a little bit and had less tomatoes on there, they'd grow bigger. But I'm just quite happy to see how, how they go. So the rest of the afternoon is now gonna be me tidying up in here. As you see, we've got lots of used trays that are on the side. I need to sort through those. Some of them will have to go, like this one that's been melted in the heat, but others will get reused. You can see I've got me a cup of tea at the ready, and I've got lots of other bits and bobs to tidy up in here as well. And actually, even the floor has got stuff on it at the moment. So it will all get tidied. I just need to find new homes for stuff and get rid of stuff as well. So there we go, I've had a bit of a tidy up in here now. Um, I can actually get in here now, which is uh, a good start. But I thought I'd give you a quick show of what we've done so far. And then hopefully in the next video, I will be down the allotment, depending on the weather. Um, hopefully it won't be tipping it down with rain like it has been very recently. So let's have a quick look and then I'll say goodbye. So coming into the greenhouse, we can actually see floor, albeit dirty floor. We can see floor in here at the moment. I will be going around sweeping up all the uh, bits of green that are on the floor from the uh, tomatoes. Looking at the tomatoes, we've uh, thinned them out a little bit. We've got rid of the suckers on a lot of these plants. And we can actually now fit past, which is a bonus. We've got some floor space. I have managed to tidy this up slightly. Um, I just need to find homes for some of these bits and bobs in here now. And then I'll actually be able to get to this worktop again. And the plan is to plant a few uh, plants to see me through the winter as well. As we can see on some of the plants, we have got red tomatoes. And we have got some fairly decent sized tomatoes growing. And then along this side, a bit better than when we were watching at the start of this video a couple of days ago. Haven't been watered. This is a nice green, lush uh, bed of mixed plants now. And we have got the odd fruit coming up. So I think this is a, uh, crisp, I think it's called a lemon crystal cucumber, which I've never had before. It'd be interesting to see. But anyway, there we go. It's all starting to look a bit tidier. I can actually get in here and have a sit down now as well. So thank you everyone for watching. Um, I know it's not, probably the most uh, exciting of videos but there we go and <laughs> um, at least for me now this is a bit tidier and it means that when I go down to the plot I can actually take some of the plants down there that I did have growing in there which is always a good good thing um, hopefully next video I will be down the plot as long as the weather holds out um, if not I will probably be in here planting some stuff up to see me through winter so until then thank you for watching take care Happy Lomonton. Mm -hmm.